anybody out there. Well, I had a video, but I don't have a video of what we did over the weekend. But anyway, long story, footage didn't download. I got it. I just can't get it off the camera right now. But it's all good. It's okay. So we'll just talk about what's going on. So I think we had talked about we went to Daphniac Springs and looked at the Thor Miramar 35.3 and a 37.1. We leaned more toward 35.3, which is what I liked because it wasn't um we really don't need two full bathrooms. I mean, if we get it, great. If we don't, whatever. Because it wouldn't be anybody but um, me and him nine times out of ten anyway. So, as long as we had a second bathroom which uh, or half bath, then that's fine. So, um, anyway. So, I posed a question on one of the Facebook pages, one of the RV Facebook pages, asking people's opinion about the three that we picked out because I wanted to have more than one option um, that I was looking at just in case for some reason I couldn't get my hands on that um, particular uh, model or year or whatever because I'm trying to get the 2018s, um, trying to wait for the price to drop. I know I can't wait forever but that's my plan um but there were three that we had in mind so it was the thor miramar 35.3 that was the first one that was uh the top of the list then if that one wasn't available the holiday rambler uh 30 uh what is it the holiday rambler vacationer 36 f i think it was um that one does have the two full bathrooms. Um, and then the we found uh, Winnebago Vista 30, 36F, I want to say, which we haven't looked at yet. Some people like this brand. Some people don't. Some people can't stand this brand. Some people live by it. So... Um, kind of want to throw it out there and get some opinions and a whole lot more than not said stay away from Thor. Thor has a lot of problems, um, you know, have a hard time getting them to approve warranty work, which was such a disappointment, but you got to listen and look and read and kind of um, go by what people say, I guess. Um, so with that being said, I kind of kicked the Thor to the very bottom of the list, I guess. Uh, I'm scared of Thor now, even though I really liked it, but... Um, so I was like, okay, I got to find something else in its place. So I got, uh, so people were saying things like, look at Tiffin, you know, look at, I couldn't think of any of the other names that they were saying. Um, but so Tiffin stuck out in my mind because I've seen Tiffin's on the road. Um, I got, you know, seen the high end tipping coaches um so that is really why I stayed didn't even think about looking at tipping because I'm like that's way out of my price range um and didn't know that they made a class a gas I thought they were all the high-end diesels um so I went online and started researching in fact in a 2018 tiffin um allegro 30s 35 UA, I think it is, or 36 UA, bath and a half, um, I think, no, it doesn't have bunk beds, there was one model that had bunk beds, um, but anyway, started researching it a little bit, looking at them a little bit more, and thought, huh, 
Okay. Okay. We could we could definitely look at tipping and see what it looks like. So we're gonna schedule to go out and uh, take a look at the tipping and, and see what they're all about. If it's something that we like. I mean, looking at videos and and things of it looks like something that we I think would like. So tipping may go to the top of the line. And Winnebago may go to second, and then the Holiday Rambler third. Um, but we'll see. We'll see. So that's where we're sitting at right now with the um, with the search. And I tell you, after we went and looked at a Holiday Rambler um, 35K, I think, uh, the other weekend, and after we went and looked at it, and it was good. I mean, I we liked it. Um, there were a couple of things that it didn't have that we liked, I guess, or whatever. Um, but anyway, after we looked at it and left and we went and got something to eat, we looked at each other and were like, you know what? I'm really tired now. I'm ready to buy this thing and be done with it, put it to bed and move forward so that's what we are we we are mentally drained on looking at rbs right now because it gets obsessive after a while i mean if you really put yourself a a, a year's time limit or right at a year time limit or or more on it it gets mentally exhausting um because i'm just so i don't know detail oriented i gotta study it because i don't know anything about rb and i don't know anything about nothing never been camping the day before in my life and i never will tent camp because i don't do snakes but anyway um but we know it's something that we we want and I, we know we're gonna enjoy it but skip it up on another note so what we got coming up next month we are going to Disney with our we went last year we're gonna go again this year um, and then this is our kids trips well not kids but they're grown kids um, this is something that they've gotten into that they go every year if not twice a year but around um, starting in September there is Halloween horror what they call Halloween horror nights so there's like eight or nine different haunted houses and not just your run-of-the-mill haunted house. These things are elaborate and very detailed. Um, one of them is going to be Poltergeist. Um, there's a Stranger Things, um, and I don't know the other ones right offhand. They have scare zones where um, last year when we went, um, which was uh, mine and Irvin's first year going. Um, they had like the twins from The Shining walking up and down the street. Now all throughout the back of these crazy clowns with chainsaws chasing people around. And it is hilarious. Um, I'm going to get some footage of that because we cracked up last year i mean they would run up on us and we would look at them and just laugh and they would just go the other way but people are like running for their lives from these clowns hilarious the houses are intensely scary um we were out there we had did the parks universal and Islands of adventure that whole day, both parks, and then that night we went to Halloween Horror Nights and we hit, I think me and Irvin did probably like five, six of the houses. I think there were like nine and the kids did one more than we did, but I was, I was done. I couldn't do no more. Um, so we did the Universal Island Adventure Halloween Horror Nights one day. We did Disney, Magic Kingdom, Epcot, MGM, or Hollywood Studios, whatever, all in the second day. Um, but we're going to break it up and do Hollywood 
or Island of Adventure and um what is it? Island of Adventure and Halloween Horror Night and Universal. And then we're doing Disney parks in two days. And these kids have this stuff down to a science. We're doing this, we're doing that, we're doing this, we're going here. I was I was just along for the ride last year. But we had fun. We had a good time. Some of this stuff I'm not riding again. I'm not doing hollow, uh, the, the Tower of Terror. I'm not doing that again. No, no, and no. Um, I'm not doing Exploration Space, I think it is, where you're um, put in this little spaceship. Um, and you are, um, it's you, it's four people, very tight, tight in closed quarters I'm claustrophobic I didn't know how it was last year but all I could think of was if this thing break down we're gonna be sitting in this little enclosed caption can't move can't go anywhere nah uh -uh. um but it's um it spins you around um because it's supposed to simulate you in the space shuttle taking off slingshotting around the earth land i mean it's it's crazy and everybody has a role pilot da -da -da, da -da -da, whatever whatever it's fun it's you know i did it but i'm not doing it again this year nah so we'll see how that goes yeah we have our magic band so you customize them with whatever color they have available you pick your color i picked pink and then they put your name on the inside of it, whatever whatever name you want to be. So, mine says Queen Bee. <laughs> so, anyway. Um, but, you can also buy Magic Bands. So, actually, this was the one that we got the first year we stayed on Disney property. Um, bypassed Daytona for a night and went to Disney and stayed at the um, Port Orleans, very nice. But we got this, this was the first year we went. And then last year when we actually went to the park, that was this band that I got. But instead of getting this band, you can opt to buy you a band if you want. So I bought a band, Huey, Louie and Dewey. And I'll be using that again this year. Because you can use your old bands from years past if you want. But they automatically send you bands every year that you go. And then Irvin got Star Wars. So that's where we're sitting at right now. Waiting to go look at two more. And then hopefully... Um, going to look at two more. Hopefully... November, December, January-ish. We should have one sitting in our driveway. Um, but regardless, we're gonna we're gonna get back to our um, trips. So we're gonna get back to planning our week yearly trips, our week trips every year that we take. We didn't do that this year, like I said. Um, I think we just got two consumed with RV purchasing that we just let it slip past us but um, by December or in December is when we usually pick a place that we want to go and then we just take it from there um, map it out see how long it's going to take to get there um, and then go so whether we have an RV or not we're still going to take that trip and um year before last and year before that we did it in the slingshot so i think year before last we went to was when we went to south dakota and wyoming and then the year before that we went to maine portland maine and um came back down stopped in jersey did a tour um in new jersey i mean in new york uh, which was really nice um, they came to Jersey, picked us up from the hotel with the big tour bus that morning, 
and we stayed out all day going to all these different sites in New York. So it was pretty cool. It was better than us having to drive down there ourselves and try to find parking and try to figure out where all this stuff was and we might have missed something. So I find when you go places, the tours are, um, we've done the um, horse and buggy around the city, which is really nice because those people will tell you too things about the, um, the town. Um, but yeah, pretty interesting. So that will, that will be what will be going on with us, um, in the next few months, uh, going to check out these last, well, I ain't even going to say last two, cause every time I say last, I find another one or something. But anyway, you're going to look at these two that these, these, uh, last two that we found. Um, so that'll put us back up to three or four that we will be able to um choose from and go from there and then disney next month the holidays will be coming up after that so um we'll see what goes on with that and then pick our trip for next year and i'm almost certain that we'll be doing a cruise next december hopefully we'll have the rv by then i've already scouted out campgrounds so we can drive the rv down there stay at the campground go on the cruise come back and um yeah we'll see how it goes so we're gonna call it a night and we'll catch you next week hopefully